this is part six of building the invoice management system and in this one we're going to look at how to customize our admin page to suit our need okay so we have about four to five yeah five simple steps All right so the first step is to create a form dot py file okay by default django doesn't come with this model so we're going to create this in the invoice management app so i'm going to open sublime which is already open right here so under the uh invoice management app i'm going to expand it and right here is where i'm going to create the forms.py file so i'm going to right click invoice mgmt and click new file okay so the content of this will be right here we're going to import um forms from django default app so i'm going to copy this and then paste it right here okay so we're going to be creating the model forms all right let me save this first i'm going to save it as forms.py all right so make sure it is saved within the invoice management app okay it should be in the same folder with the views and the models so we have it right here so I'm gonna also uh, import from the models, like let me copy it and explain what this does. All right, so we have the models.py file right here, and we need the uh, invoice class in the forms right here, because we're gonna create a model form. So that's why we are importing the invoice class from the models. So to do that, we said, we said, from dot that means in this current directory that is this dot right here from dot models in this current directory there is a model called models import the invoice class right so once we are done with that we can now use or we can now create the class that will be used as our form so i'm going to copy this and move it right here let me give it a space okay so we're gonna create a form and it's gonna be a model form that will be linked to this model right here the invoice model and the name of that form or the name of the class will be invoice form and these are the parameters of that form okay or the fields of that form so if you look closely you can see name the phone number the invoice date line one line one quantity unit price total all the way all the way, all the way up to line five okay we also have the total paid and the invoice that so these are the fields that we have right in here okay so we're going to create a form that will allow us to use uh, 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 that these fields and input directly into the database okay i'm going to save it and then move to the next step that is customizing the admin itself so the first step right here is to create the form all right so since when we're customizing the form or the admin we will need the form so that's why we created the form right here now this is where the customization begins okay so in admin.py if i go to admin.py file so this is what we have originally not apps i mean admin.py file so this is what we have from our previous video we registered this model and that makes it appear or list in the admin page now i'm going back to the admin page i'm gonna do a uh, localhost last admin so you can see we have this invoice model right here okay let me show you how to fix this we already have one data inputted in this table right so we want to see the name of that object or the one of the parameters of that object or the table now what i'm going to do is in uh models to py file all the way down here i'm going to create a function okay now this function will be responsible for um returning uh any of these fields that we specified in here so that we can see the actual object property all right so i'm going to create a, a, a function and we're going to have underscore underscore sorry yeah underscore underscore str and we're gonna have self okay self and this model or this function would return any of these fields so for this example i want to return the 
name of the object that is saved in this table all right so to do that i'm gonna write return self dot name okay so when i save it refresh you should see the name of this object all right let's see um it should be in the class right so i have to move this a bit indent it save it refresh okay so if you click on this you can see the name of this uh object is Paji. okay so that is the field name right here if i go to the uh models you can see we have the field name as name right so i can also return i can decide to return the invoice number by just changing this to invoice number let's go number save it and if i refresh i'm gonna click here you can see we have the invoice number but now i want to show you how to uh return both the invoice name and the number i'm gonna return self dot name and i'm gonna concatenate it and use uh dash between them okay i'm gonna use another plus sign here okay so since this is a text we have to convert this also to text if not we cannot concatenate them right so if i to save it right here you're gonna see that uh, um, the system will give us an error if i refresh it right name self is not defined okay this is not what i'm looking for um self this is self right here okay if i save it now you should be able to see that error right can only concatenate a string not integer to a string okay so now uh i have to convert this to a string str save it and refresh all right so you can see we are going to list out the name of that invoice and also the invoice number but this is not uh pretty okay so we want to list out this data in a table format okay now if i add another data i'm going to choose today's date and the name will be um then you're going to have line one will be desktop quantity will be let's say 10 unit price and the total will be okay if i save it you should be able to have two items right here okay the inverse name and then the quantity now if i want to list this in a table format is what we are doing in this video all right so now if i hover right here or if i move to this um step that is this last step right here i'm gonna import let's see what we stopped i'm gonna go back to admin.py okay so this is where we're gonna do the customization right so i'm gonna uh, define my function or the class up here that is this one right here let me copy paste it and then explain what it is doing all right so we're gonna create a class and name it invoice admin okay and we want to list the uh the list display will be uh the table that we want to create in the admin portal so i want a table i want the table to have the name the invoice number and the invoice date i'm gonna also need a form so that if i click on that object it will display that object in the actual form or in that form that we define right here so i'm going to comment list filter and the search for now and then now to activate this uh customization i have to apply this class name right here by using a comma so i'm going to save it and refresh the app oh i have an error okay invoice form that fine i needed to import it right here so since we are using um invoice form right in here and it is not imported is giving us this error and that's the step here i think i skipped it yep you gotta import it from here okay so to do that i'm gonna say um from uh, forms since the admin of py is also in the same directory as forms i'm gonna say um uh, from the forms import um invoice form this one right here save it 
the error should be gone and if we refresh we should be able to see our customization all right so you can see how this is displayed we have the customer name you have the invoice number and the invoice date right here in a table format now if i want to add another field right here let's see which other field can we add i'm gonna add the phone number this is where to add it i'm gonna do a comma customer number let's go on number let's confirm that that's the actual field name yeah it's called phone number okay i'm gonna change that to phone number save it refresh you can see the phone number is added right here and if i edit this this is the form that we used okay and if i add the phone number right here and save it you can see the phone number is displayed right now uh, the reason why we have this form here is okay this form now if i click this um to edit it this is the form that appears now if i want to customize this form i don't want it to display all these um fields i can go to the form okay the form right here if i want to remove this line let's say i want to just show the line one properties all the way i want to remove all of this okay save it and then refresh that will be the only field that you have you can see we have only the name number date line one quantity unit price line total okay so this is how uh, you can use these forms to um, define what you want to see when editing or inputting data right here if i say add you can see it's limited to that as well all right so before we go um since i commented these fields i want to show you these two um parameters right here so you have the list filter and the search field okay now the list filter what it does is i'm gonna uncomment it save it um, i'm gonna go back right here now it's gonna create this filter for you okay now if you have a customer let's say let's say a budget had multiple orders i'm gonna do a uh, budget again okay i'm gonna do the number the inverse date line one uh, maybe you don't buy phone i'm just gonna save it now if i want to filter i want to see only the um the customer called a badge i'm gonna click on that and you're gonna see only that field okay if i click lamin you should be able to see only that now if i click clear filter it should be giving me everything from the database okay so that's what the filter does and about the search if you look properly you cannot see any side field right here this is just the action field okay now if i want to create a search field and that's what this is about i'm gonna do a search fields we're gonna do search based on the name or invoice number if i save it and then refresh we will have a search button and a search field up here and whatever i type here then we will look in uh and then search for anything uh, in the name or the invoice number okay so if i type the invoice number whatever like if i type number one it's going to check whether it's an, uh, an invoice with the name of one or an invoice with an inverse number of one all right so this is what this will be doing if i type about you here it will show me that okay if i type one it should also show me this okay it will match the name and or sorry it will match the name or the inverse number now if you wanted to match multiple um parameters or criteria you will list out all of them right here okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it is informative if you do uh enjoy it don't forget to click on that like button leave your comments in the comments box below if you have any questions otherwise see you in the next video